Good morning, this is Larry Edelson for Uncommon Wisdom video for Thursday, November 12th. Lots of action here uh, following on the heels of last week. We've got gold blasting off through $1,100 an ounce to new record highs. You can take a look at this chart right here, which I'll enlarge for you. You can see this is the same chart we've been following for the last few weeks. Gold has, has skyrocketed up through 1100 It looks like it's going near vertical here. However, uh, bear in mind that, that no market ever really goes straight up, and if it does, it's not a market that you want to be in. So having said that and given you that caveat, uh, we are firmly long gold. We are long gold for much lower levels, and I'm very excited to see this breakout in gold. Uh, I would not be surprised to see a pullback at some point very soon, uh, but as I mentioned a few weeks ago, all pullbacks in gold should now be viewed as a buying opportunity as gold's next bull market leg to the upside, which will ultimately see it at least hit uh, $2,200, $2,300 an ounce uh, gets underway. Interestingly, uh, the dollar, which I... We'll also pull up a chart here for you. We've been following all along for you. Just can't get its head off the mat. Uh, here you'll see, let me get this out of the way for you and make this chart a little bit bigger. The dollar index, and let me pull it up, dollar index is just flat on its behind. You know, it tried to rally a few weeks ago, uh, and I told you that rally would fail, and sure enough, the dollar is now at a 15, new 15-month 15 low and literally just 2% uh, or 3 percent away from making a, an all-time new record low. If we see the dollar index fall below this line, which this, this downtrend line here, which acted as support before, then it's very possible that the dollar will go into uh, a virtual free fall. We're not there yet. I'm monitoring it very closely. And even if we do break this line, th there's likely to be a reaction back up before a, a free fall starts to occur in the dollar. Needless to say, the dollar, uh, even if it miraculously can stage a rally at some point in the next uh, few days, is is very, very ill. Uh, the dollar is, is really getting pounded uh, across the world as investors seek uh, to diversify against and away from the dollar. And this is a major trend that will last for at least another couple of years. So any rally that you see should be used to exit uh, dollar, ho large dollar holdings and or get into contra dollar investments, many of which I recommend in my uncommon wisdom uh, daily column that comes out on Mondays. A couple other things here. Uh, stocks, uh, the Dow and gold are acting very strong. And I've mentioned in the past how it would not be unusual to see stocks and, and gold move together. Indeed, they have moved together for the last several months, gold and stocks moving up. The pause in the stock market is, appears to be over. This chart here of the Dow Jones Industrials looks very similar to gold. You can see the breakout. It's almost exactly the same as gold. And what's happening here is basically, again, what I've been talking about all along. We're seeing the monetization of assets as the Fed continues to put the pedal to the metal and inflate away debts. The only way that it can inflate away debts is by printing money, and monetizing other assets so that they basically inflate uh, relative to the large scale of debts that exist in this country. Whether or not it will work remains to be seen. It, it is certainly working in the short term. Uh, whether or not it works in the long term remains to be seen. I doubt it. It just breeds uh, the, the seeds for the next crisis, which will be a hyperinflationary type of uh, depression. There's no doubt uh, in my mind that the U.S. economy is not out of uh, a real, uh, not out of a recession. And probably uh, years from now, when the, the history books are written, uh, it will become uh, widely known that the U.S. economy has been in a near depression and, and in a recession for already 10 years uh, in terms of asset prices. 
So if this inflation, reinflation effort works by the Fed, great. Uh, it will save us all. Uh, however, it, it, it's unlikely that it will work in the long term. And the best we can do as investors is protect our money against the devaluation that's occurring in the dollar. A um, couple other things. We're seeing some very healthy gains in Asian markets. And, and here I want to bring you uh, to some of the recommendations I've made over the last few months in the Uncommon Wisdom daily column. If you look on the left side of the screen here, let me, uh, excuse me, increase the font so you can see it. We have some positions here uh, that I've recommended in Aluminum Corp of China and the iShares, uh, if some of you are still holding it, PetroChina, uh, and some of the gold stocks I recommended, uh, and so on and so forth. The gains range from uh, a, one moment, let me scale that for you, uh, from 13.67% all the way up to 69%, with only two losers out of about 10 or 12 uh, recommendations. Uh, many of these names you'll recognize in my uncommon wisdom column from time to time. Uh, any open positions you have in those recommendations I would hold unless I specifically mention to take profits in my uncommon wisdom column. Uh, these kind of recommendations are what you'll find in my real wealth report with uh, much uh, more honed timing to get you in and out. Uh, but suffice it to say we're doing very well all across the board. Uh, in uh, my publications, uh, in my, some of my premium trading services that just got started. We haven't had the opportunity to catch the recent rally. However, we do have some open positions that are looking very promising uh, for the days and weeks ahead. Till next week, this is Larry. Have a good weekend.